Sci-Fi gives us many chances to explore the unknown, whether in the sky or under the sea. It's a whole world of adventure. Hi, I'm Jenny Barnett Roars, your host. Let's start out by making this robot tray. You're gonna have fun cooking this up because it uses things from your kitchen. You're going to need a recycled and clean styrofoam tray. You're going to wanna have some plastic utensils also found in your kitchen. Some pasta noodles, and I used spaghetti noodles and penne, but use what you have. Some washers that you root around and find. Some white glue, scissors, and you may want to have some gel crayons on hand. The most important part of this project is metal flashing tape, and this is adhesive tape that you find at the hardware store. If you can't find it, you can always use aluminum foil. So we're gonna start off by printing out this cute little robot. You will find him on our website, or feel free to draw your own. But what we're gonna do is just place him in the tray and use the back of a spoon to indent the pattern. So we're not really using super hard pressure, but just enough to kind of dent the foam underneath. And you could also use the back of a pencil or a pen. Um, really, just use what you have on hand. I'm using the spoon because I got it out of the kitchen. But when you're done, you're gonna find that you have him all indented so you can see the outline. Next, what we're gonna do is add some glue into the bottom of the tray. You can see how very specific and careful I'm being. You don't have to, because we're just gonna spread a thin layer. And again, I still wanna be able to see my lines. I can even feel them a little bit. By the way, have a paper towel handy for this part. And now we're gonna take some pasta noodles. Now, these don't have to be cooked, they just have to be soaked so they're kinda flimsy and limp. And then we're gonna put noodles over our lines that we've indented. They may be a little hard to see for you, but I can see what I'm doing. And if you need to cut them, just use a plastic knife to make them longer or shorter, however you like. And I'm outlining his head. And then I'm gonna just kind of build him from there. Now, if you have bow tie pasta, you can use that. If you have some of these kind of um, round noodles, you can cut them up and make a little buttons or antenna. So even if they break in half like this one did here, that's okay because you can still put it down and then reassemble it. Here's one. They're a little slidey when they're wet. Okay. So I'll put that one up there, boop, like that. Now we're going to just give him another little bit of body and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with those washers. It's so much fun. I mean. This is a whole new level of playing with your food. All right, so once you've built him the way you like, he'll look a little bit like this. And it's dried and you've seen that it's shrunken a little bit, but that's okay too. So then you're just gonna use a little bit more glue and add your washers. You can add anything that is flat for this project. So pennies or washers or little bits and bobs that you find because this is creating a texture. So set that part aside to dry and you're gonna end up with this. Now we're gonna take our metal flashing tape. Now you can rip this with your fingers or it will cut with scissors either way. It won't hurt your scissors either. But what makes this fun is that it is adhesive backed. So you don't need any extra glue. So I'm just gonna put this down, starting at the top. I'm gonna roll it down over the middle and around the edge of the tray. And I'm gonna repeat this with two more strips so that I've covered up the entire tray. Now, if your flashing tape is a little longer or a little narrower, um, you can go ahead and you know, add more strips as necessary. So I'm gonna put this down. It's a little crinkly. But see, it just wraps right around the edge and you don't need any scissors or anything like that. So, let me show you though where the magic happens. If you take that spoon and you just start to kind of go over the top of your noodles like this, you will see your robot start to appear. I'm gonna again, use, you can use the side of your spoon to burnish in. And then you can even use that idea of uh, the end of a ballpoint pen to kind of poke in. But see, he's starting to magically appear as I burnish him down. 
you'd have the same effect with foil, but you might need to add some um, glue or maybe even glue dots to make sure that it adheres to the styrofoam tray. Now, the last step in our little special tray project is adding some paint or gel crayon so that the texture really does pop out. And what I'm gonna do here is just rub this gel crayon over the whole thing. And again, this is an optional step, but I think it adds something special to the project. So I'm rubbing it all over, getting into the nooks and crannies, and then I'm using my favorite craft tool, my finger, and I'm going to rub. This also will help bring up that texture I'm gonna just rub it all over. I'm making a mess. It's my favorite part of crafting. Then you're going to take a paper towel. Told you they're handy. And we're gonna just take a little bit of water and just buff it out really lightly so that all of that paint stays in the nooks and crannies. I hope you enjoy it.